In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to add a size chart to your product page in Shopify. Now, make sure you stick around to the end because all of the steps here are crucial and if you don't, you'll probably miss something out and it won't work. So, what you want to do is go to your products, first of all. This is the first way I'm going to teach you and it's completely free. You want to go to products and go to the product you want to uh, do this with. So in here, you can see that I already have some text in here. I'm just going to space this down so it's out of the way. Now, from here, what you want to do is go to these three dots here and go to insert table. Now it's going to, oh, you can click here like this. Now this is kind of what we want, but not exactly because it's only one row. So we can click on the table here and we can go over here, down here, and we can insert a column before. We can also add another column and we can resize this a bit how we want it. So then if we can put size, we can put like length uh, and we could put like height, for example. So these would be the, um, the titles. So we'd put this like this. Next, what we'd want to do is we want to add a row below. Now here what we can do is we can align these to the center to make them look a little bit nicer. If we wanted to, you could um, so you could do all these, but I'm just gonna leave it like this for now. So here we want to put the size. So we put like small length. We could put like 34 inch height, 30. Four inch as well, so we're sending a cube. <laughs> Again, we would want to select all these here, and we probably want to central them or center them like this. I probably wouldn't want them to be bold. And there we go. So now I've got this here. I'm going to increase the size of this ever so slightly if I can. Yeah, yeah there we go. So those are a bit bigger. So we want to add another one here. Row right below, so you put like medium, say 50 inch, whatever your size you have. 50 inch. And basically, you can keep making new columns in here for your table until you've done what you want. If you want to add an, another one to the right, you can go to the dot 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 into the table, add column after add row below. You can also delete rows, delete columns and that kind of thing. Now if I hit save and I go to preview, you should see that the table is here and it actually looks pretty good here. It looks much nicer than in the text editor that we have in Shopify. Another option I would give you, I think that's a really good idea, is if you use a page builder like Pagefly, the results are going to be way better because you're going to be able to customize them way more. So that's something I would also recommend trying out um, just because, yeah, it's going to be a lot more clean. It's going to be exactly how you want it. And, not, and this is a bit random in a way. But yeah, so if you enjoyed this video and found it useful, please be sure to like and subscribe and comment down below that this helped. Plus comment down below if you have any questions and I'll answer those. And also if you have any other video ideas for me. Thank you for watching.